hi guys how are you doing i hope this finds you well and safe and healthy welcome back to my channel now if you've seen my previous videos then you've probably heard me say that i use kinemaster to edit some of my videos and today i want to show you how you can edit your videos using the same app kinemaster details about Kinemaster is that one the app is available for Android users I haven't seen an option for PC I tried looking for one so that I can download on my PC but I couldn't get it number two the app comes with two options the free and premium option so obviously the premium option comes with more features and without a watermark on your videos but the free option comes with a watermark however the watermark is really tiny it doesn't have such a great impact on your videos so you can still use the free option and edit your videos using it without having to worry about the watermark number three the app is available on google play store just go to your google play store type in kind of master the app comes up download install and you're good to go one thing i like about kind of master is that it's easy to use the, the app is really easy to navigate the steps are laid out there for you and you don't have to worry about having to seek professional help on how to use the app so once you open up kind of master you click on this middle icon where you add where the plus sign is and then you can choose your size i love or i believe the best size is the 16 by 9 ratio okay and once you do that it opens up an interface for you and from here this is basically your workspace and the first thing that i usually do is go to media and then add a background with the background i can be able if i click on what i just added it creates a yellow border and from here i can add anything that i want if you look at the top right corner you can see the watermark written made with kind of master so for me that's okay it's really tiny and it doesn't have like a shouting color that make can make my video look weird so that's good for me so once i you click on this icon on whatever that you've added and it brings you the yellow border that means you can go ahead and add anything or play around with whatever with your background and on the options that are on the left on the right side if i click on this it gives me an option of adding transitions or the gra graphics to my clips so i want to add a title i go to more titles mm click on this stylish main title it gives you a preview of how your title will look so let's write take have tutorials okay on this section i can choose the font that i want by clicking that a part let's go to handwriting click on that we are good to go once you're done and you're satisfied with the font that you've chosen, click OK. It gives you another preview. And on this section, you can choose the color that you want for your text, the text color. Let's take this. That's cute. The background color. Let's do a lighter one. OK, the line color. Let's retain the line color to be white. Once you're done, you can go back and because we don't have another clip ahead, so we can't add transitions, but basically that is good. If you want to extend your animation, just drag this section to add the timeline that you want and you can move your playhead to the starting point so that you can preview how your title will look like okay and that's how it looks it looks pretty nice to me now i want to edit an, a video i go back to media and then look for the folder that has my video and for me i'm using this one 
click on the video and it automatically adds the video once it's done formatting you can click on this bottom left side the arrow pointing the other side click on that it takes you back to the starting point now if there are sections of my video that i want to trim listen hi guys how are you if you look at my video i i don't begin immediately but also i don't want that part to be part of my final video so i have to listen in and that's where my video begins so i click on the video so that the yellow border appears <clears throat> take up the scissors on this side and then trim to the left of the playhead trim to the right split at the playhead split and insert freeze frame but i want to trim to the left of the playhead so i just click on that and it's gone go back listen to it hi guys how are you doing I hope and i'm good to go my video is good the same thing happens towards the end do especially when it comes to cooking and today i'm going to show you how i fry my groundnuts okay so i want my video to end at that point so i click on that the, the yellow border appears click on my scissors now i am trimming to the right of the playhead click on that and it appears and if i go back fry my groundnuts it finishes exactly where i want it to finish now between my intro hi and guys my video, hi. i have the ability to add a transition where you have the plus sign so if i click on that i options for transitions come up and let's choose a nice one mm. what do we want this no no let's go with that one so let's see how it will look like hi guys how are you doing i hope this fine you've already added a transition if you want to add another video at the end <coughs> of your first clip just go back to media and go back to where you've saved your videos add a video you want to add an image add an image over there okay and you're good to go with that so let's undo that and that too so once you're done you can add an audio let's assume you want to add an audio to the beginning of our clip because it doesn't have any audio you come back to the beginning of your clip you have the audio option from there you can choose any song that you want what songs let's choose an interesting song mm -hmm. click on the plus sign so you notice the audio is long it extends to the section where i begin speaking so i click on the audio the yellow border comes up check my scissors trim to the right sorry let's undo trim to the right of the playhead you see and how are you doing i hope you see it begins exactly where we want it to begin and ends so with your audio you can work around with it you can reduce the volume you want it to be a little lower and it goes down yeah and you're good to go so let's go to the end add another background 
and write something what are we going to write let's choose a different title mm, let's choose that and write Welcome. My little, sorry, little world. Let's go back and choose a font. This time around, let's choose a different font. Let's choose this one. Okay, my little world. Uh, the text color. Let's choose this. Okay. The color of our first letter. Okay. If you're satisfied, you're good to go. Come back here. Add a transition. Yeah. What does this look like? No. No, like that. Let's do a clock one. Okay, so if you're satisfied, check it out if you are. My grown ups. You see, come here, we want to add some audio. Click on that. Mm -hmm. Let's take albums. We have video order. Take this. Sorry. You have to click plus sign so that you can add it okay so it ends here Sorry. to the right let's reduce the volume to that And you're good to go once you're that you're done uh, you can also add you can also record a voice with this let's wait something what are we writing here mm -hmm. let's write of life this. Like, okay now I want to say something all I have to do is click on the voice button click on start hey I hope you've learned something okay stay safe They saying it's too short. Let's extend something here. <sighs> Sorry, I want to add some voice. Start. Okay, I hope you've learned something and enjoy your editing and make it fun and professional as you want it to be. How long do they want it to actually be? hello i hope you've learned something make it fun make it as easy as it sounds and have fun editing and making videos your voice recording was too short okay let's start here assuming our audio our video doesn't have an audio so we're going to mute everything okay so i want to record something go to voice click start 
hey there how are you doing this is tech savvy welcome back to my channel so this quarantine i've been doing things that i never thought i'll be doing and because i have a lot of time around and i just have to learn stuff and welcome to my channel so that I, we can share our quarantine moments together stop it's still saying it was too short how long should it be But basically that is what you do and once you're done with your video, I don't know why it's acting up, but once you're done and you feel satisfied, go ahead, click on this arrow up box or something. And once you click on that, it takes you to the export page. Here you can choose the resolution for your video. I usually do the 1080p. I don't change anything here and the frame rate remains the same you can see the size of your video it's 15 mb yeah and that's all i need to know and then click on export once you click on export it gives you the option to buy that is if you have to sign in you can buy for on monthly basis or the yearly version but you can buy but because my internet is not on then i can't do that and then click on skip for those of us who are doing the free option and your video is exporting okay let's wait up it actually doesn't take long to export because the files are usually smaller but if you have a larger size of a file like let's say 20 minutes or so, 20 to 30 minutes or so, then it becomes tedious. But a smaller file like 10 minutes, 15 to 20, that's okay. It takes the shortest time possible. However, also with the longer videos, it doesn't take that long. So long as you have enough space, it can take up to 10 to 20 minutes for a larger file size. But for hours, it's short and it's almost done exporting while I'm still talking okay so once it's done you just go to where you find your file where you save your files and then you'll just find it there but you can have a replay of the video here let's choose the vlc <laughs> So yeah, I muted the volume. I forgot to go back and change that up. But basically that is it. And one thing, one more thing about Kaina Master is that if you go back to the home page, you'll find your latest edit there. So long as you don't get rid of any video from your root data, you'll find it there. And you can make any changes. Edit, you can share it directly or add some stuff duplicate or something you can also delete it so you're good to go and that's all about kinda master i hope you've learned something and i hope you'll enjoy editing all this i did with my phone i'm not using any pc i just did that with my phone and your video comes up perfect and nice and professional it satisfies me it should be satisfying to you but if you want something of a higher let me call it value or professional stuff then you have to use a software on your machine adobe premiere pro cs6 the cc the 2020 version and all those other software editing softwares that you have then you can access that and use that but for me for the beginners for those who <clears throat> don't like much of editing then this is the best for you i hope you've learned something friend and i hope that you can make your youtube videos more interesting and even give them a professional touch thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to get notified once a video goes up on my channel.
may god keep you safe for me till next time bye